Hey guys, it's Amber, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my channel and to what I decided to start calling the Amber Awards. So this is my like overall best of the past year. So this is my the 2023 best of awards. I have been for the past month trying to decide on like what my top uh, for the year were going to be. Um, last year ended up being like 18. And I was like, you know what? I should split them up and do separate videos. Um, and I was inspired by, um, if you're familiar with Emily Noel, she is a makeup um, artist here on YouTube. Um, and she does the Emily Awards. And I was like, you know what? I should do something like that. So plus Amber Awards is kind of catchy. So it's like an end of the year, what's been the best of for the year for me um, in regards to Sensi. And so um, now that I've broken it up, it's going to be a little bit easier for me. Um, I'm going to do it. So I'll do the, the best of the catalog fragrances i'm going to do the best of scent in the month scent of the month and licensed fragrances that'll probably be together because there's not as many um the best of the bring back my bars for the past year and the best of the limited time offer fragrances and then i think i'm also going to do the best of the warmers for me I was trying to decide whether I wanted to do them in with the, like if it's a scent or a warmer of the month, do it with the scent of the month, that type of thing. But I think I'm going to have a whole separate video for that one. We'll see. Stay tuned. But the video this time around is going to be um, the catalog scents. That's this one that's happening right now. Oh, and sorry. The um, last video, if you're if you're not into looking, seeing every single one broken down, my last video will be like the best of the best. And then that way from these, I can narrow down. It'll be a little easier, I think, to narrow down because I still talked about all, all these because it is way more than 18. And that's what I narrowed it down to last year when I just did straight up best of 2023. And um, so that will be at the end of all this series. I'll do the best of the best type of video. So let's let's get to it. Let's do the first of the Amber Awards, which is the best sense of the spring, summer, and fall, winter of 2023. So these are catalog scents that for me are the best and how i decide that is number one scent appeal because of course it's got to appeal to me for it to make my list and then number two is the throw it needs to at least be a medium for me to consider it so medium to you know uh um uh i can't even think a great throw <laughs> a large throw uh, I don't know why. Strong. There you go. That's the word I'm trying to decide. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained at the moment. Um, strong throw. So medium to strong, at least. And I do not deter I do not um, take into account the longevity of a scent. Um, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know already. But if you haven't, hi, I'm glad that you're here. Um, I change my scents downstairs anyway. I change my scents um, at least daily, sometimes twice a day because I get tired of a scent pretty easily, unless it's a, like a super love for me, like something that I've clubbed, like Wassel Wonderland, then I'll usually leave that in for a couple days before I change it. But if it's something that is just okay to me. I'll probably change it in the middle of the day or if it's something that I like, um, then I'll leave it in just for a day and then the next day I'll take it out. So I'm constantly changing my wax so I'm not reliable when it comes to the longevity of a scent unless it's a scent that I use here in my bedroom. Those I will um, let go for usually 
the full week I'll, I'll have it going. But downstairs is um, daily, <laughs> at least. So usually. Um, okay, so send appeal number one, throw number two is what needed to um, be good for me to make this list. So this is my favorites from the catalog. Um, no particular order. I don't have an order to them, um, but I tried to do 12 or, you know, in bundles of six because through our um, bundle and save, my website is down below. If you look under specials in bundle and save, there is a six bar bundle and that allows you to get um, five six bars for the price of five. So buy five, get one free. So I always try to at least do in bundles of six. So this is 12 bars. So let's, let's just dive in. So no particular order. And this is fall, winter and spring, summer. So the first one I have for you is from the fall, winter catalog. And it is first day of fall. Oh, this is so good. This is in the spice category, although it's not overly spicy to me. The notes are just picked pumpkin, autumn woods, ground nutmeg, and a dash of cinnamon. So this is, um, if any sort of spice in it, the nutmeg comes through more than the cinnamon does. You get that nutmeg, you get that woodsiness, and you get that um, pumpkin. It's not like pumpkin puree, canned pumpkin or anything like that. More of a fresh outdoors type of smell. If you're at the, um, at the pumpkin patch type of thing. Oh, I love it. It's so good. And obviously it is first day of fall. I do melt it on the first day of fall and it's a tradition for me to melt it also on the first day of my fall melting which starts September 1st. So still love this one. Hopefully it will never go away, but I do have a Scentsy Club. So more than likely it will be going back into my club um, at the end of the season. So that's first day of fall. Next, this is from the summer, spring summer catalog. And uh, let me see the notes. This one was under floral. Um, I think it could be other in the other families as well. Let me find, let me find floral. Okay, there we go. It is Kukui and Coconut. This one is Tropical Coconut and Kukui Nut Lounge on a Bed of Soft Jasmine. So this, if you're familiar with Sol de Janeiro's Boom Boom Cream scent, uh, this is very similar. Less sweet, more of that nuttiness, but it's it's a very similar, if you're looking for a scent that's similar to that, this is it. It's so nice. It just reminds me of summer. You get the, the nuttiness, the coconut, but it's not overly coconut. And then the floral in it, that jasmine is just such a nice, sweet floral, not powdery, not heady. Uh, jasmine is one of the types of flowers that I do usually enjoy in my um, home fragrance. This reminds me of a kind of a more tropical version of Southern Evening. If you're familiar with that scent, that was in a Bring Back My Bar a couple years ago. Um, so it's it's really nice. I do love it. So Kikui and Coconut. It is in my club right now. Hopefully it is coming back in March. Okay, next up, I really loved this scent this year. I've I've loved it in the past, but then I kind of fell out of love for it, but I uh, reignited my love for it this year, and it is Cider Mill, and this one is uh, Fresh Apples, Crushed Pumpkin, and Simmering Spices, and it's not overly spicy. It's another one that I'm like, it's not a very spicy pumpkin apple combo. To me, I get more apple than pumpkin, but the pumpkin does come out in it. And then it is a very mild cider spice mixed in. It's so nice. This is one I like to recommend if 
Maybe you don't know what type of scents that you like as far as fall scents go, or you want something that is tends to be um, crowd pleasing and you don't know what to use. Cider Mill is a good choice because it is generally liked by everyone. I haven't found anyone that doesn't like this one. Let me know in the comments if you aren't a fan really of this one because I haven't found anyone yet that doesn't at least like it. Okay, next up, this was a scent of the month a couple years ago, and then it made it into the fall winter catalog this season. It is cinnamon pine cones, and this is in the, I think it's in the woods. Let me see. Yeah, it's in the woods section. It is, let me read it, sparkling pine cone fir balsam and sweet cinnamon stick. I fell in love with this, with this when it was a scent of the month in 2022. It's so good. This is a classic Christmas type of scent. You get that woodsy pine cone. Cinnamon is mild when it's melting. It is um, stronger when you smell it on cold. The cinnamon is stronger, but it, it mixes perfectly with the pine cone and then that touch of evergreen. I've said in the past, it reminds me of kind of like what a scent would be wafting through the air in like a Victorian home back in the day. It's so pretty. I love it so much. Great performer. Have never had any issues with this. So cinnamon pine cones made my list. Okay, next up, this was brand new to the catalog last. So this fall fall this spring summer this last spring summer and it is in the fresh category it is called mountain sunset this is probably one of my lighter medium scents but it's so pretty uh the notes are wild bluebell warm woods and coconut and golden amber it's pretty it's a really beautiful like bedroom type scent. Usually if you see the name Amber in the description, it leans more towards like a bedroom type of fragrance. And this one has that. It's sweet. It's kind of similar to Coastal Sunset, um, but less tropical. It's just a comforting, cozy, sweet type of ambery scent. The bluebell doesn't come across super floral in it at all. It's really pretty. So it made my top list this time. So Mountain Sunset. I did not put this one in my club because I was betting that it's coming back. We'll see if I gambled correctly or not, but I feel like it's going to be back in the catalog this coming spring. So we'll see. Okay, next up is a classic. Winterberry Apple Tea. This is another one that I ended up really coming back to loving this time around. I enjoy, you know, reigniting my love of some of those classic scents. And this is no exception at all. So this is Winter Tea Cozies Up to Cranberry, Apple, and Honey. And it is such a nice scent. You get that cranberry, you get that apple, you get the honey, and you do get like a tea note. Um, it's not like black tea, it's more of an herbal type of tea. This is a great performer. This is another one um, that I feel like if you're not sure what kind of scent to melt for company coming over, that this is a good choice. This one feels it's a little stronger in throw than Cider Mill is. I'm going to smell them both again. Yeah, winterberry apple tea is a slightly stronger, but it's such a pleasant scent. Um, so that had to make my list for sure. Okay, next is a new to the catalog scent this season. And it is, I don't know if you can see that, dashing. So dashing is in the woods category and it is vanilla. Creamy Mahogany, and Fresh Night Skies. This, oh, and I just almost dropped it to the floor. 
This is so pretty. I'm not normally into mahogany, but this, and you'll find another scent here in this list, both have mahogany in them, which is shocking to me, but the mahogany in this is very mild. It doesn't lean cologne, choke you out of your house type of mahogany. Um, very pretty, very woodsy, uh, but a mild, this is a mild woodsy mahogany. That vanilla comes out a lot more in this. It's just pretty and soothing and creamy and nice. It's just a beautiful scent. So I had to make my list. So dashing. Okay, another one that is woodsy or in the woods category anyway. It's not full on woodsy to me. Um, this is from the spring summer catalog. It is in my club right now. It is Bonfire Beach. This is toasted marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, salty sea air, and ocean spray. And this one is so good. This is like marshmallow fireside with a little saltiness added in. If I had to pick one favorite summer, like all time summer bar, this is it. I love it so much. It is a good performer. It is another one that I feel like is a crowd pleaser for people, unless you just don't like marshmallow, I guess. But I think it's beautiful and just amazing. And to me, it's not necessarily one that I feel has to be like spring, summer. I melted in the summer because I'm a very seasonal melter, but I feel like you could get away with this one throughout the year if you wanted. So it's really, really good. So <laughs> that's Bonfire Beach. Okay, next is the other mahogany one I was talking about. And this is in, let's see. Yeah, this is Woods as well. It is also brand new to the catalog, Midnight Mahogany. And this one is, let's see, Black Plum, Cinnamon Leaf, and Dark Mahogany. Now this again does not lean cologne to my nose at all. And it comes alive warming. Uh, on cold is nice. I feel like I have a very like emotional attachment to the scent and that's why it made my list. Maybe if I didn't have that attachment, it wouldn't have made, but again, it's my list. <laughs> and so for me, I have a scent memory of my mom when I smell this and of her home, how her home used to smell, put it in my warmers for the first time and I, I'm getting emotional again. I pretty much broke down because it smelled like her house. You get that mahogany and it is like a woods, like like maybe antique tables um, that you're smelling in this Victorian home, Victorian again. My mom actually was, her name was Victoria. Um, and she was an antique dealer. So she did have a lot of those antique um, mahogany tables and that just kind of, that's what you get from this. It just reminds, reminds me of what my mom's home used to smell like. So it's a beautiful scent, very woodsy um, compared to dashing. The mahogany is stronger in this one for sure, but you did get that like deep fruity note to it as well. And then the cinnamon in it is mild. It's definitely like a cinnamon leaf rather than, um, cinnamon stick or even or uh you know just cinnamon in general not red hot or anything this is just a deep earthy woodsy um kind of fancy type of home type of scent so mahogany what did i call it midnight mahogany made my list okay we have three left next is from the summer catalog and it is coco lime Coco Lime is, you know, makes sense. It's in the citrus category. And this one, let me find the notes. Coco, coconut milk, creamy vanilla, and fresh lime. 
I'm not a huge citrus person. I don't dislike citrus. It's just not usually what I gravitate towards. But there's just something about this bar. It's like a fresh, zesty key lime. I don't smell it and think I'm smelling coconut or anything like that. The coconut kind of, I think, just kind of creams it out a little bit. But it is a zesty, fresh, not cleaner. It doesn't smell cleanery to me at all. Just a fresh key lime. And I love it. It is summer, summer scent for sure. And highly recommend that one. So that made my list. Okay, next is anyone that's been around for a while is not going to be shocked by this scent at all. It is Autumn Road Trip. So Autumn Road Trip is in the catalog right now. It is a fall winter scent. It is in the fruity category. And the notes are Harvest Apple, Anjou Pear, and Silver Oak. This is just my all-time favorite fall scent. I am an apple girl through and through. I love apple scents. If I had to pick like team apple or team pumpkin, I am apple. I love pumpkin scents as well, but give me apple all day, every day. <laughs> and that apple comes through, but what comes through as well um, and is the pear. And a lot of times in, in apple pear scents, the pear will get lost to my nose, but the pear comes out really well in this. And it's fresh, it's juicy, it's um, bright and crisp along with that apple. And then you get that a touch of oak to round everything off. I love it so much. I have it in um, the cleaning line too. Um, which came out in the Harvest Collection and again this season. I think it might still be, some of that might still be in the clearance section. So check that out. My website is down below. Um, it's the best. I love it. A lot of times if you start using products and other things besides the wax, you can end up getting sick of the scent in the wax. But that hasn't happened to me with, with the Autumn Road Trip. I love it. It's... Like I said, it's my favorite fall. If I had to pick one fall favorite scent, it would be this one. So Autumn Road Trip. And then last but not least is another uh, fall winter scent. This is in the bakery. Let me find the bakery. Yeah, there we go. The bakery section. And it is Cran Apple Crumble. This is another one that I kind of reignited my love for it this season. Last season, I didn't melt it very much. And then this season, I've melted it more. And I was like, oh, I remember why I love this scent. It is Cran Apple Brown Sugar and Whipped Cream. Oh, it's so good. You get that cranberry, you get that apple. You get that um, deep sugary brown sugar, and you do get that whipped cream. It's wonderful, and I think I don't have I don't think I have any more of crumb top, but I think if you mix this one with crumb top, if you have it, then you would get a total like true crayon crayon um, apple crumble. Because you don't get any sort of like streusel note in this one. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're wanting that and you have crumb top or maybe oats and honey, if you have that one, that's not available either. I'm trying to think of one that would be available now <laughs> that would work. I can't think of any off the top of my head. But if you have either of those, oh, um, well, that was not either. I was going to say Cozy Kitchen. That was part of the, the holiday bricks, but... Those aren't available anymore either, but that's another option if you have any of those lying around in your club or whatever, give that a try with this. And then let me know if it's a good mix. I know I have at least one of, I think I have Cozy Kitchen still in my stash right now. I might have to try that mixture and see how it is. But for me, this is wonderful on its own, even if it doesn't have that like crumble type of, um, 
note to it. It's beautiful. This one is going to go into my club this um, time around once this, ret or you know, before this retires, because I feel like it might not make it back. I don't know. There hasn't been a ton of buzz about it this time, this year. So I'm like, hmm, it's been a couple years. I feel like this one might be on the chopping block for next fall, winter, and I would be sad. So, so anyway, so that's Crayon Apple Crumble. That's, so that's my top 12 of the spring and summer catalogs. And stay tuned for my other ones. Like I said, I'm going to do um, the limited time offer um, bars. I'm going to do the bring back my bar bars. And that'll be for 2023. This is all the ones that came were available in 2023. Um, and then uh, licensed and sent of the month. I think I'm going to combine that one. And then probably a warmer one. Because I do have favorite warmer of the month. I do have favorite favorites licensed ones i don't know i have so many licensed ones you know me i love my disney warmers so we'll see about that one and then favorite uh catalog warmer so i think i will do a separate video for for those as well so hopefully this was entertaining and then at the end like i i said at the beginning i will be doing like the best of the best so Anyway, there we go. I hope that was fun for you and it, it makes it a little bit easier for me to make the cuts when I can do them all separate first and then do my top, the, my top, top ones at the very end. So I appreciate all you guys. Stay tuned for my um, other videos and until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.